Hi and welcome back to the Wishing Shed. Today we're going to be making this adorable little Jack Russell Terrier called Muffin. Okay, so the first thing to do is to roll up some wool for the body. I've used around 3 grams of, of carded New Zealand cream wool here. So I'm going to just roll that up now. And I'm going to needle felt that for around five minutes. Okay, so I've been needle felting this for around five minutes now and it fits quite nicely into the body shape on the stencil sheet. I've just needle felted the back to a slight arch and it's around an inch thick. Um, so you don't want it too wide this way. Okay. Okay, so the next thing to do is to make the head. So I'm going to follow the length of the pipe cleaner that's on the stencil sheet and just bend it into shape and cut it to length. And then I'm going to wrap thin strips of my carded wool just around the nose and up onto the head. Always trying to keep the snout area um, fairly narrow. So, and use your um, fingers to help smooth around the end of the pipe cleaner. And then we're going to build up the area that is the bend for the top of the head. So use your fingers as well to help shape it. And following the stencil sheet, so you can see we have way more to build up here. So just keep the wall nice and smooth. And I'm going to build up the top of the head. So I'm not building up the neck yet. I want to get, there's a the neck here. I want to get the head right first. So you can use core wall um, if you prefer to make your basic shapes first and then put your carded top coat wall on top of that. It's up to you. Building up the top of the head. If you see here, we don't want to dip. We're going to wrap a bit more wool around the bridge of the nose there. Like so. Little bits at a time. What looking from the front as well. Okay, so I'm really happy with that shape now. I'm just um, use your fingers to really like shape the back of the head as well. So now I'm going to build up the neck. Just using some more of the cream wool. And wrapping tightly around. And it just needs to be a little bit... Um, narrower than this section of the head. So just a little bit narrower and needle felt that on. So I'm going to use a little more, the same wool, just to cover, I don't know if you can see these joins here, just to cover those up onto the head. So attaching to the body, we want to attach the head to this area here, so not too far forwards because this is sort of going to be the chest area. So looking from the front to sort of get a nice position. And so I've just bent the head of the pipe cleaner forwards as well and I'm going to attach to the top here. Straight down, like so. Okay, so now I'm going to build up the neck a little bit more with some more of the carded wool. And this will also help keep the neck in place, but we don't want his neck to get too thick, so 
just bear that in mind. So I'm literally just going to wrap one more section around here and needle felt that one. Okay, so um, just needle felted a little bit more around the face here just to define the head area a bit more and just shaping to keep the arch on the back and the chest area here. So just using my fingers to help shape that like so. Okay, so now we're going to make the legs. Okay, so we're going to start wrapping the legs now. I've measured out, these are the front legs, and I've measured out the sort of um, equal amounts of wool. So I'm using a beige pipe cleaner, but um, so you can see what I'm doing, but usually if I'm using white wool, I would use a same color pipe cleaner, so like a white pipe cleaner. And just wrapping the wool around. Also, these are three millimeter pipe cleaners as opposed to the thicker ones. I just find them a bit easier to work with. Needle felt that on. And the other way. So if you can see here we've got it's a bit too thin here and thicker here. So we're going to wrap a bit more wool down. And a tip, if, you're, if you've wrapped wool this way, I find that then wrapping the other way, it won't unravel everything you've just done. So I wrapped that way, but now I'm going to wrap this way. And it won't disturb the um, wool that you've just wrapped. I'm going to roll that backwards and forwards between my hands. So now I just need to make the other leg. Okay, so I'm just neatening up the um, wall around the feet a little bit. Carefully dragging and sort of tucking around. Okay, so I've wrapped the back legs and I'm going to bend that to shape following the stencil sheet here. And our back foot and I'm going to build up the thigh area. Okay, so make the other one the same way. Okay, so we're going to position the legs just towards the back end of the body, like so. And needle felt straight on into the body. And I'm going to cover over the joints with just a little bit more of a carded wool, like this. Tucking right in, so this will help keep the legs in place as well. And again, I'm going to cover the joins with a bit more carded wool. Okay, um, so I'm just needle felted both of the back legs on now. So if you can see that there, which sort of helps um, define his little bottom area a bit more. He's starting to take shape. And now we're going to attach the front legs. So when attaching the front legs, you might think that they look really quite long, but um, if you bend the foot upwards, so to give him his front paw, like so, and then measure against the stencil sheet and bend that area around at the top. Now that's going to 
define his chest area. So make sure that he can sit nicely. So by the time you've positioned it and you've needle felted all of this area in to the body, the legs should be just about the right length. So just going to attach at the side of the body, so not at the front. You want his chest area to be in the middle. So I'm going to needle felt all of this in. And then cover over the whole of that area with some more carded wool to hide the join. So I'm going to attach the other leg the other side, like so. I mean, there's really no wrong or right way of doing this. Um, you know, we all have our own methods. So I'm going to spend a bit more time now just needle felting some carded wool over the joins, just to neaten them up. And the next thing I'm going to do is just redefine his shoulder area at the back here just by inserting my needle into the strongest point or you can use a strong sewing needle. I'm just pulling that up um, just so that, um, just to define his, uh, his shoulder area at the back. Okay, so he's looking quite good. And now we're going to add the detail to his face and look through the middle point and come up to there like so. It's only as a guide and going around the head. Okay. I've got two different colours of cardi wool here. I've got tan and a ginger and I'm just going to blend the two together by pulling backwards and forwards. You can just use one plain colour but I find that this gives them more natural look to the coat. So keep doing that for a minute or two. So what looks quite nice is if you add tiny little bits going around just here onto the, the snout and back up. So just add a little bit more detail but I mean the markings are entirely up to you. Okay, so I've just um, smoothed over a little bit of washing up liquid here onto the tips of the ears just to help shape them because it is quite tricky getting um, ears, needle felting thin ears, I find anyway. So I'm just using that. And once that's dry, they will, the fibres will stay in place. Okay, so we're going to add the eyes now and I'm making an eye socket by um, just pushing my needle carefully all the way through and push those in. Oops. Like so. Okay, so line up the, the other eye. So these are three millimeter um, stem back eyes. For a more um, realistic look on the eyes, I'm going to take my sewing needle, this is actually an embroidery needle, and just pull, carefully pull an eyelid just over on the eye itself. I hope you can see that there. And I'm going to do the same the other side. And just carefully pulling some of the wall forwards, like so. Sort of creating little eyelids. Um, and also, I'm going to add a little bit of dark brown wool just a little bit 
hardly any really, but just for an extra detail around the bottom area of the eye. And I'm just going to needle felt the bottom end into the front and then bend over and needle felt the points together. And use your fingers as well to help shape it how you want it. There you go. Okay, so now we're going to put the ears on. So when we're attaching the ears, I'm just going to um, fold the bottom ends together, like so. And the top of the ears are going to be bent forwards. But we just needle felt them onto the back of the head, like so. And then we just, before we bend them forwards, we're going to make sure we get the position of the other ear. So pinch the bottom together and just position where you want it and needle felt into place. And if you have any noticeable joins at the back, then um, and also it, to hold them in place a bit more as well, you can just put, just needle felt a little bit more carded wool over the back. Okay. Fold the tops of the ears forwards. Okay, so we're just going to make the tail now and simply cut the pipe cleaner to length following the stencil sheet and needle felt to secure. Okay. Once you're happy with the size and shape of your tail. Just um, position it on the back how you want it and needle felt into place. Going to needle felt a bit more of the same colour carded wall over that just to keep it in place and it will also create the um, pattern of the little brown spot around his tail. And then I'm just going to give him another couple of spots on his coat using the same coloured wool. So one across here. And so the last thing to do really would be just to um, go over him maybe with your finer needle, so a 38 gauge needle, just to tidy up any little um, uh, scraggly bits that are, are sticking out and then just give him a trim. So that's it. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, be sure to like and subscribe for future videos and thanks for watching.